What is up YouTube? Um, Banshee here. Um, thought I would quickly make another video on Chainex. I've asked some questions to the council. I've um, done a bit more research and I'm really like, uh, question, question, question. The more questions you ask, the more answers you get and then you have more questions for those answers and then you get those answers for those questions and it literally just makes you way more confident in what you're investing in. And I'm going to quickly explain to you why we're going to see absolute big numbers here. Like way, 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 way bigger than numbers than what we're currently at. And I'm going to talk about why we haven't listed to it any exchanges because I've asked some questions to the team. I'm also going to talk about um, Chainex itself, um, the power behind it. And yeah, so we'll just quickly get into it. So... I want to talk about Uniswap because Uniswap you cannot buy any DOT projects on Uniswap. Any projects outside of ERC20 tokens you cannot get on Uniswap, alright? So this is a big flaw. It, Ethereum is strictly limited, limited to its own chain, alright? Now you've got Binance Smart Chain and it's literally the exact same thing. You can't get any DOT projects and you can't get any ERC20 tokens. They have to be two separate tokens, alright? So You've got two chains that are limited to their own chains and they cannot be widely adopted by the whole ecosystem. All right. Now, I wanted to bring about Zenlink. All right. So Zenlink is a virtually a Uniswap built on the DOT ecosystem. Okay. So that is powerful. The difference between DOT and Ethereum. DOT, you can, through, via other projects, you can have an ecosystem with every cryptocurrency under the sun, trading under the one roof in a decentralized exchange, not subject or limited to the one chain. Now, and to second this, the fees are literally near zero, okay? So I just wanted to quickly bring up this. There was this website that I wanted to um, check my gas fees. I'll try to include it in the description if I can find it again. But basically, in the past month, I've spent $10,000 just in Uniswap fees. Now, if you guys can fathom that, and I'm just one person, all right? Imagine the other million people, all the fees on Ethereum, wasted. We could see higher prices on every project across the board if this wasn't the case. So, okay, we've got this solved. Polkadot is gonna solve the fees, and it's gonna put everything into free spill. We won't be having this halt on the market. The bull run would be way more, you know, like, it would be bigger. It would see bigger numbers right now if it wasn't for that. You know, like, think about that. That could have been $10,000 that I could have still been holding to invest in another coin or to be still in that coin, you know? So that is absolutely insane. Hold up. Get a phone call. I'll just put that off. All right. Fuck's sake. Oh, my mate's trying to call me, sorry. Um, Alright, so... I just want to... Yeah, so I ended up questioning the team why we haven't seen any exchange listings or anything like that. Okay? Because it is a bit annoying. So, the way I see it is, there's over 80% of the token locked up in staking right now. Which is absolutely insane. Okay, so that's like 80% of the total supply is locked up in staking. Alright? So, I asked this question because I'm not too sure myself so I ended up asking the council and um, Xbox actually answered me alright so I'll quickly look for it okay just wondering why has Chainx not listed on any exchanges my assumption is because of the fact that over 80% of the supply is locked up in staking is this part of the reason because exchanges need to have a significant amount of the token to make it tradable no or can exchanges buy directly from the Chainx team then Xbox responded Lots of reasons, but mostly they're lax. People forget they are companies making profits. A difficult subject, substrate project costs too much to implement, so they don't mo bother most of the time. ERC20 is simple. Add a name and a picture and you're done. So basically what they're saying is, the exchanges make that much money that they're not too worried about DOT right now. They would include DOT if it wasn't for the, I guess, I guess it's I guess it's just a bit harder. And for most DOT projects, I guess it's a bit easier. But Chainx is a complex 
cryptocurrency. Like, it's a bridge. It's not just, you know, like, a line of code. It's, like, a massive thing. Like, it's literally based, essentially, Polkadot, but, like, built to, you know, interoperate with non-ERC20 tokens, all right? So Polkadot cannot connect non-ERC20 tokens directly. It needs Chainx to achieve this, all right? So that is absolutely unbelievable. Like, like, uh, unbelievable is a stupid word, but like, you know, that speaks volumes about Chainx, all right? So if you think about it, we could see a lot of, like, we can connect Bitcoin, XBTC, we can see Zcash, we could see Monero, all connected into DeFi, making them more like a further use case for these coins through Chainx. So you could say, essentially, Chainx is going to make those tokens more valuable. But those tokens are also going to carry some of their market caps across to Chainx. So, yeah, I just wanted to make this video again. Just to, I'm so bullish on Chainx, it's not even funny. And I'm probably not the best person to listen to because I'm so... Yeah, I'm so hyped by this project, but I cannot see why you wouldn't be. Like, it's... I've looked at a lot of projects on Chainx and a lot of cool things going on, you know? Like, anything that can supply utility is what I'm about. Because, you know, if you got some hype with no utility, then th there is no point. It won't be able to withstand its growth. But, you know, once we do see some exchange listings, once we do... Once Chainx becomes realized, we... <laughs> We are going to see much bigger numbers. As we've seen, it does not take much to make this token absolutely fire due to the fact that 80% of the tokens in freaking staking and there is a high demand for it. So, and you know, the halving coming to May, baby, we're going to be making some numbers. I sound like the biggest shiller. Maybe I am. <laughs> I'm just very excited. I have direct links with the Chainx team. I talk to them. I've been talking to Xbox, an amazing community member. You know, it's shout out to um, Cryptos Chain or whatever his name is, the YouTuber. Also doing ma amazing coverage in Chainx. Um, he's done a lot for the community. You know, even getting on uh, Big. Oh, what's his name? I can't even remember his name, but basically he was a big YouTuber. He got some coverage in Chainx, and that's literally Bitboy Crypto, I think it was, and that's what like, created the last pump essentially. But it's not about pumping the price, all right? It's about getting people to understand Chainx, to understand that this isn't just something that's just going to pump and then go away. This is essentially like getting into Polkadot in the early days. There was no pre-sale, all right? This is the this is the other thing, decentralization. Chainx is so decentralized. Like, it, <laughs> uh, I've got to cut the video now because um, I, I was just going to go over quota, so... Cheers for watching, and um, yeah, hope to see you guys in the Chainx Telegram, and we can talk.